Good morning folks, uh, welcome to my new venue which is my photograph studio we're sitting in today. Uh, yes I've moved, there is no longer a huge showroom, it's basically online. Having said that, happy for people to trot along if they've seen anything online and have a look, if not just give me a call when you're passing and we'll pop the kettle on. But yeah, that's why it's been a little while since I've actually shown off my wares. So today we're sitting in the photograph studio. Just to give you some idea, there's a prep room for a little bit of titivating and polishing. Uh, we've got the office, we've got container storage, all electrified, and we've got residing on site as well, so I'm never far away. So yeah, about time we actually showed a few things off, and these are the new acquisitions for 2019. Oh yes, we haven't messed about. We need to get in there and get in there quick. In fact, between you and I, I was even selling online on Christmas Day, so. It's got to be done. Okay, first one we picked up was an Art Nouveau jug. Again, beautiful, beautiful patina. I know I'll keep on about it, but it is important. But look at the stylized decoration on that jug. It's an absolute beauty. Fabulously shaped handle. No maker's mark, but true to its period. Absolutely lovely. Coming up the periods, we have got in contemporary, as we all know, bang on trend. Not just that, but we've got a complete candle garniture. It's plated and it's really, really weighty. No maker's mark on that one, but wouldn't it be lovely to put a little Archipold Knox in the manner of label on that one? It's a real, real good thing. Very nice, great in a minimalist environment. Um, having said that, we can't resist the traditional, and here we go. Poor man's bronze, you know what it is, it's spelter. Lovely colours again, but look at the subject matter. Now I don't normally buy spelter anymore, because it's a bit dated, but that subject matter is lovely, lovely, lovely. Boy and a girl, having a fish, brother and sister, mates, I don't know, whatever they are, hope they catch some nice fish for their tea. And finally, I picked this up this morning and I just had to buy this. This was in a shop window. I had to buy it. Again, he looks true to the period of what he's doing. He's on a penny farthing. I think that's one, what wouldn't call that bike, I think then. Uh, almost folk art. Look at the tack welding on that. It's an absolute beauty. And uh, to be honest, bespoke, I think. <laughs> bespoke, get it. Uh, bespoke, I think, because I've never ever seen something like that. Um, and that makes this trade really, really quite extraordinary in the way it's gone. It's because it's a very difficult thing to value. Age-wise, what do you think? 60s, 70s? But, you know, to value that, I don't know, it's beauties in the eye of the beholder and what you want to spend on it. Interesting trade, interesting <coughs> finds. Let's carry on 2019 with that attitude and hopefully we'll see you again soon in my new venue um, with some more wares. And don't forget, if you're passing, get on the website, give me a call and you're very welcome to pop in. Thanks a lot. See you soon.